Okay, so this is the wig. Sorry, I'm holding it with like one hand. But this is what it looks like. I'm not sure what those two little holes came from. But that was like that when I took it out the bag. This is what it look, looks like up close. Okay, that's what it looks like. It looks like it's already kind of been plucked or something. The wig did come in this natural. Well, it was like bleached or dyed or like bleached to this blonde color it's real nice it has like this kind of dark roots to it all right so that's pretty much what it looks like and this is the inside of the wig okay so all of it is pretty much lace okay okay so hey y'all i was just about to put this wig on i don't know if y'all can see that let me zoom out a bit but that's a bug let me zoom in real close that's definitely a dead bug in my wig okay this is not okay yeah it's teeny it's small we ain't doing it we 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 ain't doing it i just wanted to get on so i can show y'all y'all may think i'm making a big deal but no that is not okay so this is the inside of the wig i'm not sure what's going on no i that's not hair from the like I not hair that's in the way, that's just hair that's underneath, that's inside the wig. Um, let me show y'all kind of up close. And then down here, you can barely see. I'm trying to do this for like one hand. I was trying to show y'all how like the hair, there you go. How like the hair, I don't know, I guess it wasn't made very well because the hair is just looped in and then the hair keeps falling off of this wig. I don't know why, but you can see it kind of looks a little thin and granted it is wet, but the hair is just continuously like falling off of this wig. I, I don't know why, but it is. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know you all have already read the title and y'all are like, what is going on here? Okay. <sighs> all right. So this hair is from uh, Divas Wigs. I don't know if it's Diva Wig or Divas Wigs. Okay. Um, I am going to have clips in. I'm pretty sure y'all already seen the clips that i've inserted in the beginning so let me just do the whole rundown of my experience with diva wigs diva wigs okay so they did reach out to me about let me pull up the email they reached out to me to around 2 12 18 ish okay and prior to that i cannot find the email but i remember hearing from them i think it was like Mm, probably like five or six months prior to them reaching out on me on 2-12-18, okay? So, it was a while back ago, but I can't remember what the conversation was about, but we lost contact or whatever, and, you know, we just didn't end up working together. So, they reached back out to me around the 2-12-18 mark. It, mind you, it's 5... What's today? It's 5-13. Do the May. Okay, so, of course, they reached out to me, exited... Um, did I want to cooperate with them? And I think that I'm like, yeah, you know, with the, I don't work with many sites that sell wigs. So when one reaches out to me, I'm like, okay, because a lot of people, they want wigs that's already made. They don't, um, some of them don't know how to make wigs or whatever the case may be. So they always ask me like, Aaron, what wig websites do you recommend? I've always seen very positive reviews on this, this, um, this hair company, like all kind of positive reviews. I ain't, Actually, I've never seen a negative review on this hair company. Hmm. Never seen a negative review. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure. So, of course, I got to pick out what wig I wanted um, to do. So I hadn't seen anyone review this wig, and I've been wanting, like, a blonde wig. So I was like, let me get, you know, let me try that wig because it was nice. Now, I am going to insert the picture on the site of what it looked like on the site. It does not, it didn't come looking like how it did on the site. Now, the roots were darker on the picture, and I inserted, the roots were darker on the picture on the girl, uh, on the girl on the site. Her roots were darker and everything in the hair 
wasn't this blonde okay it had like like dark roots and stuff like i just like the way it went from dark to light like i liked it now the roots when it came and y'all can see in the beginning it just had a patch like this much of a patch of a little it wasn't even dark but it was like a little dark patch okay i went in and i kind of did a little i put a little dye in it it didn't take well but i tried to darken the roots as much as i could with a little uh a little semi-permanent dye So yeah, I was kind of disappointed about that. Another thing that I was disappointed about is because of the communication back and forth with the company. Like, okay, now that when they asked me to do a review, the communication between us starting off was not very good, okay? Um, it takes them a long time to reply, which I don't know, maybe it was just me that maybe, I don't know, it was taking them a long time to reply. Then one minute it's just like, then when I picked the wig that I wanted, when I got on the site and picked the wig that I wanted, it was like, they were like, okay, well, the cap size you want is not going to be in until a couple months. Do you want a different cap size? I'm like, okay, because I always get a large cap. I'm like, okay, well, just send me the medium. They're like, okay, well, it's going to take a while because we're going through a holiday. And it was always something coming up. And then even when it wasn't nothing going on, it was like I wasn't hearing from them. So I'm just like, okay, maybe it's because I didn't purchase the wig make a purchase and they sent it to me. Maybe maybe it doesn't matter about, you know, if they keep in contact with me or not. So I have been waiting around for the wig and everything. Um, I did reach out to them because when it was supposed to get sent to me, I ended up moving. So I had to reach out to them and tell them, hey, if y'all are still planning on sending it, because it was such miscommunication. I'm like, are they gonna send it or not? So when they were plan when um so I had moved. And just in case they were still planning on sending it, like I was saying, I didn't want it to go to the wrong address. So I'm telling them, hey, I moved, so I switched to this address. You know, it was it, it was just so much miscommunication. Like, it was months of miscommunication in between there. Like I said, we talked 21218, it's five something, and I'm just currently getting the wig, like two weeks ago. If even two, well, like a week and a half ago, I'm just now getting the wig. So I just think that that's really crazy, that big time gap. Okay, that was one one little con I had about the company. Now, when the company before the company even reached out to me, I researched the company. I researched our companies, um, you know, especially when they reach out to me just to see, you know, I watch videos on them and stuff. A lot of people had good reviews, you know. People said shipping was fast, the customer service they were nice, and I was like this. So I'm like, okay, I'm so excited about this week. I did not see no type of bad review on the hair i didn't see no bad review that's why i was like "Ooh, ready to get this wig so i can tell my people about it you know um the prices the prices wasn't too bad i mean for the full weeks you know they're gonna be kind of in the middle with the pricing anyway but the price wasn't too bad and i was just excited i wanted to bring something different that's why i had picked this week because summertime coming up i know we like to experiment with color um so i was like okay i want to bring them some different you know, something nice. This is going to be awesome. That's why I was so excited and looking forward to the wig. Okay, so I get the wig like a week and a half ago. Sorry, my phone keeps going on. I get the wig, the wig like a week and a half ago or whatever. Now, I did have other things to do. I was working, so I didn't get to it right then, which is why I'm just now doing the review. So I get it. I'm like, whoo, about to crack this open. Got to have my nice blonde wig, my dark roots. And it wasn't like that or whatever. I do have the video. Y'all see, I do have the video what it looked like track box so i'm like okay you know i ain't really tripped too much about it and it was some more imperfections that were in the wig that were with the wig like in the lace part it was like two holes in the lace which i didn't really make a big deal out of it because i'm like okay, i'm gonna cut that part off but still the cap inside the cap it was like i don't know if they rushed to make the wig but it was really really messy inside the cap um it was just I don't know the wig didn't look all that full it just didn't it just didn't wow me when I first took it out so I'm like okay well you know what I'm, I'm gonna try to work with this or whatever we, we just gonna see and then the hair was shedding like 
crazy. Like this hair has been shedding like nobody's business. It might be bald in a couple more weeks or whatever. I ain't trying to be like over exaggerating nothing, but I'm seriously shedding like crazy, you know. And then the every it didn't the, the actual wig ap appeared to be over bleach, which I know when you get in here like this, it's been processed a lot, a lot, a lot to get to this color. Okay, I understand it, but the, if if this ain't if y'all ain't really perfected this yet, or you know, it ain't right. Make it right before you sell it. Because mine was definitely over bleach. It like it was rushed to get put together the way it was made. And it was shedding all over the place. I don't know what was up there. Okay? Like, even like when I would just run my fingers through it, I would get shedding. I just combed it out now. But I would get shedding and then it was tangling real bad. Like, it looks nice now. I, I flat ironed it. I just got done from, from flat ironing it. Um, and I put a lot of serum in it because it was super, super dry. So I go in the bathroom or whatever, and I'm like, okay, let me put it on because I'm trying to see how it kind of fits on my head. I hadn't washed it yet or anything. I just put it on my head, kind of see how I'm going to uh, pluck it and cut the lace. So after I take it off of my head, I sit it on my counter, like on my, you know, on your little vanity thing or whatever. So I'm like, okay, so I'm getting it right, trying to see how I'm going to pluck it or whatever. So I look at the wig, and I see that it's a dead bug in my hair. Or whatever so i i was like you know what i said you know what that's not a bug it's probably lint or whatever because sometimes i be thinking stuff bugs too i'm like it's probably lint you know i probably i laid the hair on a blanket so lint probably got on it so i kept looking close and close to know it was a dead bug so i'm like oh my god so i started like freaking out or whatever thank god it was dead you know it wasn't moving it wasn't alive but i was like okay i, I need to go ahead and wash his hair then my hair started itch because i'm like i didn't try this thing on like oh my god so I come in in my kitchen or whatever to wash my hair, to wash the hair and everything. So I'm washing it. I washed it with Dawn dish soap and everything. So the more that I'm washing this hair, for one, like globs of hair is coming out of the wig. Okay, for one. And then for two, I find three more bugs in the hair. So I'm like, but they were dead and they were really, really small, which I'm not making no excuse for it. I'm just glad it wasn't no white, like, lice, like, bugs or anything like that. But my thing is maybe the wig had been sitting up for a while, maybe sitting up in a warehouse for a while, or I, I don't know. I've been trying to think about, like, how did that happen? How did that, how did that get in the wig? Like, I was confused. You know what I'm saying? And I was kind of like, this is nasty. So, I immediately go to, I washed it real good, washed it with Dawn dish soap. I know y'all like, what? Yes. Washed it with Dawn dish soap. I washed my own hair with Dawn dish soap, okay? Washed it with Dawn dish soap. Washed it with regular um, shampoo. Could deep condition it. Did all that stuff because the hair was really, really dry. So, I did all of that, okay? Hair was still shedding and everything. So, I let it air dry. So, I immediately contact the uh, customer service. The, the people who reached out to me. To send me the wig the company sorry i immediately contacted them i do that a lot i still make the video um expressing my opinion on the hair but i also let the company know my experience with the hair too that does not mean i'm not going to make the video i'm just letting you know what kind of experience i had you know so and my whole point in doing that is i do that so that they can pay a little bit more attention to what's going on or maybe they can go check other batches or, or make sure they pay attention to how orders are going out you know I, i'm i'm gonna just let them know that way when this video goes up it's not a surprise it's not like oh oh my gosh she put up a bad review no or whatever i just come to them and let them know hey you need to you know this is what happened with me you know so and i wasn't even trying to make it like a big deal so i i sent the email i'm gonna tell you all exactly what i said um, I said, hello, your wig is shedding like crazy. And also I just found a dead bug in the hair. Okay. This, I sent this, this email initially, uh, when I first seen the one bug. So not after I washed it. So they sent one back, which they normally don't reply back fast. I normally don't hear back from them a couple days and maybe a week or so. So they, they reply back within like, I think like an hour they reply back, reply back so this is what they said hi Aaron thanks for keeping me updated but your wig is not going to be shipped out if it if it is not passing the QC I, I would say QC is probably quality control 
So they're saying that the wig would not be shipped out if it did not pass quality control. Then it says, could you please email me some pictures to sort things out? Thanks. Okay. The first thing is, and y'all may think, okay, she reaching this petty. This is the first thing. You should have never started that off with, thanks for keeping me updated, but your wig is not going to be shipped out if it is not passing QC. So how did my wig get shipped out? I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. Okay, and then my friend maybe can tell me how did my wig get shipped out with these problems? Okay, as far as the dead bugs in it. Like I said, I thank God they weren't alive. Okay, but how how did mine get get shipped out with dead bugs in it, really dry, and the shedding is out of control? Okay, like I I don't I don't understand. And then not to mention. It don't even look like the people, the model on the picture. Now, this is the thing. A lot of people that get sent had they alter it. They do different stuff. They'll dye it. They'll bleach it. You know, they'll add their own little spin to it. And that's fine. That's cool because we all do it. But my one problem about that is if you are promoting it, that's how I want it. Okay? Like, as far as it being dyed. I'm, I'm not talking about, like, no, no curly hair and then somebody, like, wet it and then it looks different this i'm talking about about as far as like it's being dyed and stuff if this is how the model looks i want my wig like that okay and if it has been altered add that in the description with the wig this particular model did bleach her knots dye her roots put a um put a different color on the wig tone the wig a little more or put a put a little disclaimer the wig may not come looking exactly like this your wig wigs may vary what they be saying on them, them commercials items may vary or whatever the case may be or you may experience different results let me know like let us know that way it won't be no surprise and when i get the wig i'm like oh that's not what i got uh okay you know what i'm saying because when we say just being a regular customer oh that's not what i want then it's, it's problems with them not wanting to return and do all the other, other kind of stuff like that i'm just saying not diva wigs i'm not saying they had a problem with returning but i'm just saying in general so anyways, they sent that back. So I sent the picture of the um the the problem that I was having. I did not get a response back. Okay, as far as me sending the pictures. Um after she said, "Could you please send me some pictures so we can sort sort things out?" Thanks. Never got a response. Never got anything regarding the issue or to fix the issue. Maybe it was because I didn't pay. Maybe it's because I wasn't a paying customer and I was sent the hair to review. Maybe that's why it's not a big issue to them and it's kind of, you know, it kind of gets swept underneath the rug as in not a big deal, okay? Because I didn't pay with my coins. I was sent it for a review. But, however, with that being said, if I did purchase, okay, what I would have been SOL, if I did purchase with my own coin, I'm trying to see something real quick. <laughs> I'm just asking because it just makes me think of what if I did purchase this and you're not getting in contact with me like you're supposed to. As a business owner, you're not contacting me like you're supposed to contact me. Okay? You didn't really handle my issue when I sent you the pictures about it. So, so now what? If I would have dropped however many coins this would have been, if I would have spent my own money what i just would have been stuck with it what i'm confused so at this point i'm trying to see what to do i thought that they were going to take a little bit more care to it or take it into consideration maybe try to fix the issue try to get to the bottom of the issue you know and i'm not even asking for i'm not even asking for much i'm asking for you to care about the customer um maybe it doesn't matter because maybe because i wasn't a customer yeah and I hate to be the bearer of bad news because it seems like when people come on my channel, it's like I have I have a negative review about something that may have plenty of positive review, reviews and then people look at me crazy because then they say, oh, well, my favorite YouTuber or such and such or whatever the case may be, they love the hair. Why didn't you like the hair? You know what I'm saying? People look at me crazy because... I'd be like the only reviewer that didn't like it. Reviewer that didn't like it or I didn't have a good experience. 
You know, I just hate to be the bear of bad news, but this is, I'm telling y'all the experience that I had with Diva's wigs, okay? Just because somebody else had a good experience, okay. We all not gonna have the same exact experience. I'm just saying, I'm not saying they're lying. I'm not saying none of it, but this is this is what, this is my experience. So now I need to put a salty taste in my mouth about Diva wigs because I can't recommend your company to nobody because of the way I was treated. I can't come on here and be like, oh, this hair is great. I love it, I love it. Go buy it, hit the links in the description. Awesome company, awesome customer service. No, I can't I can't recommend it because I didn't have a good experience myself. The hair looks nice now, but this hair that took me through hell and high water just to look like this. Not to mention, I wish I could show y'all my flow from the living room to the kitchen to the bath. You don't even want to see the bathroom. All you see is white snowflakes. Okay? Because the hair is breaking, it's brittle, it's really dry, it's shedding. Okay? It's bad. Then the inside of the cap look like a whole nother wig because it's all like it's a whole bunch of hair inside the cap. So I said that it's not like they took their time to make it or something. And like I said, maybe I just maybe mine was through together because it was sent to me. And I'm not saying not to order from the company. That's not what I'm saying. If you want to order, order. Okay? But I'm letting you know how I was done and how my experience was. Take it with a grain of salt. If you want a chance to spin your coin, spin your coin. Let me know. If you ordered from this company, let me know how your experience was. Because you probably had a good experience. Okay? Hey, probably did. You probably looking at this like, mm, whatever. I love my Divas wigs. Okay? I love Finn. That's probably how you are right now. But, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And that's, that's all I got to say. You know, I... Once again, I'm the bearer of bad news, but I mean, hey, I guess it is what it is. And it's pretty much all I got to say, you know, I don't know. And I'm pretty sure once this video goes up, they'll care. Then I'll get an email. They'll probably ask me to take it down, try to send me another wig or try to fix the issue then because nothing gets done until you get on camera you you can contact them all day i do this to many companies i've did i've had a bad experience with you contact them all day they'll do nothing so you make a video and tell people about it then it's you getting by 50 million emails back to back to back to back to back to back, to back, to back. okay about the issue people get lost to jump and leap then but hey I don't know. I did my part. Reached out to them. I did all of it. I'm just not coming on here like a B-I-T-C-H or nothing like that. I did my part and I'm just here to tell y'all about my part. Y'all be want to know about these hair companies or wig companies. That was my experience. So, yeah. I'll see y'all my next one. See ya.